Hello ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Alex of Small Cars Direct and I'm here to present this 2014 14 registered Skoda Rapid Spaceback 1.6 litre turbo diesel injection SE example to you here today. Five speed manual, finished in the race blue Paintwork, it's covered 137,905 miles from you. And it's my job as the owner of Small Cars Direct to give you a full and transparent view of this vehicle's condition. Also, also going to talk through its features naturally. Also going to talk through its history as well and ownership. So you guys at home have the full view to decide whether you'd like to have this vehicle delivered to your door. You may even wish to reserve the vehicle on the strength of the video and the 100 images and obviously our reviews online reputation. So kicking off a bit more about this vehicle then in general, you can expect to achieve anything up to 76 miles per gallon on the extra urban cycle. So it's really, really good on on fuel and uh, road tax fee is just 30 pounds a year so really affordable to tax sits on the optional five spoke 17 inch alloy wheels and uh, insurance group is just 14 out of 50. it comes with a handy skoda supplied and fitted dog guard as you can see in the rear there and on the whole the race blue paintwork is bright in appearance and I would say it's in reasonable condition for its 137,000 miles certainly been a busy car popular car and it's uh, had just one local female owner from you they actually uh, part exchanged it with us for a 4x4 truck, so uh, needs changed. And here we are, lucky to be able to present this car for sale here at Small Cars Direct. It has an MOT that runs to September 2023, and it has the most amazing service history record. It's been serviced 10 times in its eight years of age. And I can run through the service history with you. I'm just trying to pick out any like large stone chips. There's a small, there's a small one there. Can you pick that out? You know, compared to the size of my finger, it's quite small. So that's probably the worst. The rest of it is looking really, really clean. There's a couple there, a couple small ones right on the edge, as you can see. And if we take a closer look at the screen then, Oh geez, the sunlight caused absolute havoc with videos, but you know, rest assured, I'm trying to pick out any imperfections. So if there are any, I will zoom in and highlight them to you. There's no real large chips or cracks to report. All a couple of tiny little marks there. Really, really small. And there's like what I would call like grazing almost. I wouldn't even call that a chip. It's like scratches just there wing mirror there looks nice and clear the alloy here a minor amount of curbing to the top right hand section around one two o'clock tire wise falcon branded tire which is always nice to see with uh, more than ample amounts of tread remaining on that corner there and then looking at the front then you see the lights are looking nice and clear grill chrome effect grill looking sharp same for this near side front headlight as well that's looking good large fog light down here looking clear as well oh the front bumper is very front bumper easy for me to say very clean in appearance no noticeable marks there looking down the near side let's take a look at this wheel then see some quite hefty curb damage to i'd say probably what 10 o'clock working all the way around the 
wheel really so that's probably one of the worst wheels damage wise and then again loads of tread remaining on this front wheel tire and then looking down the side you can see that it's looking really really shiny all we got really is uh reflections of the bright paintwork as we look down this near side no large dents to report although as we move into the arch area here you can see there's a large dent just in there just get out of the sunlight and then you can see for yourself there's a dent just on that arch there and it does actually extend into the door here as well there's also a scratch quite long there which appears to have been touched in that is probably the worst there's another scratch just there on the near side rear door in relation to the size of my finger there you go and then if we move round to the rear of the car you can see that it's actually really clean on the on the rear there's nothing to report here at all actually got the rear parking sensors fitted which is a handy touch and then that I would say That's about it. Let's take a quick look and zoom in on this wheel then because I appreciate sure I've just missed that completely. This uh, most notable signs of curbings on this uh, top right hand side there. Again, Falcon branded tyre on this corner and you can see you've got more than ample amounts of tread remaining there. And as we take a look on to the driver's side rear again, got a Falcon branded tyre, which is always nice to see there and uh, quite a large scuff on that top right hand part of the corner. Please bear in mind though that this vehicle will probably be vastly more affordable versus the other equivalent examples on the market, mostly due to its mileage, you know, and due to the markings that I've picked out. So hopefully the price will reflect that. You know, ultimately it's been a very busy car. But it has been well serviced, you know, it's been serviced 10 times. So the crucial things have been looked at. And you'll be pleased to know that if you are prospectively looking at purchasing this vehicle, its cam belt and its water pump have been replaced by Skoda using genuine parts at 102,000 miles. Now, to run through its history then, it's been serviced at Skoda, main dealer, at 10,000, 12,000, 30,000. 54,000 miles, again at 66, 79, 88, and 102,000 miles where it had its camber and water pump replaced as well. Serviced additionally at 117,000 and most recently at 133,000 miles, less than 5,000 miles ago. It was MOT'd less than 10 miles ago, and it benefits from cruise control, Isofix in the rear, auxiliary input with USB input as well for the radio, air conditioning, and heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors. You can see you've got uh, carpet mats fitted to the rear, looking nice and clean. Now let's take a look inside. You've got four electric windows. There's your heated and electrically adjustable door mirrors with multi-function steering wheel. Five-speed manual gearbox. Let's just fire it up, see that it starts first time, no hesitation, no warning lights, 137905. Fires up first time, no problems. Idles perfectly. Let's crank the AC on just to see if that's getting nice and cold. It is. So working air conditioning, very nice. Armrest, and that will retract 
all the way back like so. Although I did notice that the actual cover hinge is broke back here, but I think you can get these on eBay for about a tenner, I think, to get a new cover. Uh, locking wheel nut present, all important. So we'll leave that just in there for you. Glove box opens and closes without issue. That aircon's getting nice and cold, so that's good news. Revs freely. And there's your cruise control on the end of this stalk here. Let's take a look in the boot then. So you can see it's massive loot, load space. Huge boot, which is nice to see. Other relevant amounts of information to note. I think we pretty much covered it all, to be honest. A quick look underneath then, see what we've got in the ter terms of spare. So we've got space saver spare wheel, 15 inch jack, wheel brace, towing eye, all there, which is nice to see. And you've even got the factory sticker from when it was manufactured as well. 70-30 split fold rear seats there. So that's nice. Let's take a quick look at the engine bay then. see all the seats there's no holes there's no tears to the seats at all we do offer nationwide delivery service and uh, we do offer viewings by appointment six days a week you can actually reserve this car from as little as 100 pounds so to avoid disappointment please do get in touch and reserve this car if you are considering buying we can hold it for as long as three days with just a hundred pound deposit. All under the engine bay looks nice and clean as you can see. Got any questions though, please do get in touch with myself, Alex. Please review the hundred images as well in line with the video so you get a full and comprehensive view. I've just spotted a chip on the screen. That, oh, I remember that now. The last owner said that that chip has been there for something stupid like three or four years and it's not changed at all i remember them saying that but believe what you will that's about it any questions please do get in touch with myself alex many thanks for watching and hopefully i'll hear from you soon